Well, crowds are starting to gather in places like Haddonfield Township, where fireworks are set to go off tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is there now with a preview. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Carrie. The festivities started here around 5 o'clock, and as you mentioned, people have been steadily coming down here to downtown Haddonfield. The organizer says this is a small town celebration meant to bring people to their downtown area. And, Carrie, you can feel just how excited people are to be here. The celebration ends with fireworks at 9 o'clock tonight. Until then, people can enjoy food trucks, bouncy houses, and restaurants that line King's Highway. This is the first major rollout of July 4th activity since the pandemic. We're told the festivities were canceled in 2020 and they had a scaled down version in 2021, but this year they were able to go all out. Bring people to our downtown. We have many nice restaurant shops here. Many of the restaurants are open this evening and uh, we just want to come and enjoy. It's pretty awesome to see them do stuff like this. It's pretty neat. It's, it's really great for family friendly stuff like this. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Look forward to it. Again, people have been steadily coming down for anyone who does want to join the festivities. Kings Highway will be closed from Haddon Avenue to the Patco Station until the festivities are over. We're live in Haddonfield. Jasmine Payute, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Jasmine, thank you.